Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Welcome back, everybody, to another Favorite Fridays. And leading up to the live adaptation of Beauty and the Beast, I thought I would go ahead and review the 1991 animated classic, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is an adaptation of a French fairy tale about a selfish prince who is turned into a beast and has to find true love before the last petal of a rose falls. A young girl named Belle in a near town is a bookworm and learns that her father is trapped inside the castle of the beast. She goes to the beast's castle and wants to trade spots with her father and she can live in the castle forever. And she has to learn to live with the beast. I am someone who grew up on a lot of Disney. My mother was a Disney freak. I've been to Disneyland multiple times. But Beauty and the Beast was something I did not watch a lot of. I know the music, I know the story, I know the characters, I know a lot of Beauty and the Beast, but it's not something I watched multiple, multiple times. It wasn't until a few years ago that when I was working at a daycare that I watched Beauty and the Beast and instantly fell in love with the movie. I sat down, watched it in its entirety, and I thought this was a magical movie. For Beauty and the Beast being an animated film, it really captures true love. Beast is a selfish character and doesn't really know how to interact with humans. He interacts with his servants who are clocks and candles, teapots and things like that. And so he has to learn to love someone and he's very, very stubborn. At times it seems like he really does not care if he stays in this form. And so when Belle arrives to the castle, He's like, it's really cute because he's awkward about it and he doesn't know how to interact and it captures like love at first sight really, really well. And it captures, you know, the innocence and, you know, I want to get to know her, but I really don't know how to approach her. And Belle just thinks he is a beast. She just thinks that he's downright horrible and, he, and, she, and she wants nothing to do with him at first. And then they slowly start to understand each other and the relationship blossoms and it is beautiful. This movie, it has a typical Disney runtime. It's very short. And to my amazement, the relationship between Belle and Beast does not feel rushed at all. It doesn't feel fast, it doesn't feel slow, it just feels perfect. It gives us enough of the characters kind of butting heads and then slowly starting to understand each other and the relationship blossoms and they understand each other over books and dinner and things like that and it it's still he's very stubborn but the relationship is growing as well so i really liked how this movie just captured love and really understanding and trusting your partner and then you have the music in here and the music is just it's terrific it's very catchy and adds a lot to the storyline and the characters the animation is so clean it's crisp it's beautiful and there's a lot of detail in the towns, the castles, the costumes, the characters. There is so much detail in the animation. Overall, I've really enjoyed Beauty and the Beast. Since I've watched it in its entirety, I've automatically been hooked and very intrigued with the storyline and what it really captures because it's honest, it's truthful, and it's about a beast, a big monster and a young girl and what it really shows is just, it's its so beautiful and the music is great. Overall, this movie is terrific. I'm so glad I watched it again as an adult because I really didn't understand it as a kid and didn't appreciate it as much as I really should have. I really should have watched this as a kid and I really would have loved it more but I'm glad I've just watched it again and I've loved it so much ever since. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Beauty and the Beast an A. I'm really excited to check out Beauty and the Beast, the live adaptation starring Emma Watson. I think it's gonna be great. I've heard it's a T for T shot of the original. If it's great, why change it? So I'm definitely excited for that. What are your thoughts on the animated classic 1991's Beauty and the Beast? Did you guys grow up watching this film? Are you guys excited to check out Beauty and the Beast coming out March 17th, 2017? This is Just Watch Movies. If you guys like this favorite Friday video, go back and check some of my other ones. Last week, I reviewed The Shining in preparation for Get Out. Got a couple more awesome favorite Fridays coming to you guys this month, ones I'm truly excited to talk about. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can also find my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all in the link down below for that. This is Just Watch Movies. 
and you stay classy, YouTube.